हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ माई हसन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग सी एस एस जी एस ए लेक्चर सीरीज दिस इज़ लेक्चर नंबर टेन एंड द टॉपिक इज स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म आई नो यू पीपल हैव सीन मैनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इन यूर पेपर आप टेल नो बट आई एम वेरी होपफुल दैट सून यू विल बी हैविंग सम क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस टॉपिक is important as well and uh, included in your basic mathematics concepts uh, what is a standard form okay what we are going to to do today what we are going to learn about standard form the one thing is what is a standard form the next is uh, uh, how to express very large numbers in standard form and then how to express very small numbers in standard form uh then you are going to do some real life examples so this is the basic outlook of the lecture and uh, i will try to explain uh, very briefly the main concepts related to this topic okay what is standard form basically uh in my terms uh, that is an easy way to express large numbers or small numbers uh for example uh if i'm talking about uh, uh One lakh. Uh, so writing number of zeros in one lakh, you will uh, you will write it like this: one lakh. Uh, so you can express it uh, in powers of ten. So I would like to write it as one into ten raised to the power five. Well, they are same. The values, uh, the result. And the value uh, for this one and this one they represent the same value uh, but this is uh, a better way to express very large numbers uh, when zeros will be increased so instead of writing uh, all the zeros you can use powers of 10 to express your answer so that is standard form uh, And, and and you can do this for small numbers as well now first of all coming towards the definition of standard form actually actually the definition is a into 10 raised to the power n whenever you express your number in this form whenever you express your number in this form this is a standard form well let me tell you one thing then what is a well a a lies uh, between 1 to 9 i mean 1 and 9 they are inclusive 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 mean 1 and 9 they are included and all the numbers are between 1 and 9 they will be part of this uh, no that depends on the question what number are, is going to be over here but you will be having single digit either 1 2 depending on the question like here i have 1 lakh so i have got 1 over here uh, if i would be having two lakh so here in place of a i would be having two so here i would be having two so a depends on the number what about n n is power n is power of 10 uh, so this is the basic form the basic standard form we are going to express all the numbers in this form where i have told you a will range from 1 to 9 it it cannot be a two digit number no no not a two digit number it will be a single digit number and here you will be having a power of 10 whatever it will be whatever it will be no i have written here that you you express large numbers in standard form yes you do, you do uh suppose speed of light speed of light speed of light is 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 meters per second pardon me if i have written it wrong i think this is correct so 3 and how many zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 0 is after 3 but i can write it in a better form a more better form uh, to express the speed of light and that is standard form now look at over here 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second nothing has changed nothing has changed the values are same only 
the expression has changed how you are going to express it how you are going to write it this is quite uh, a difficult one a healthy one uh, this is quite simple the power of 10 and and one more thing compare it with this one this is a this is 3 this is 10 power n this is 10 power 8 so you have you observed that this is 3 a single digit number between 1 and 9 so it is 3 between 1 and 9 a single digit number so this in this way so a, a large number is expressed in standard form this is standard form power of 10 power of 10 similarly you can express small numbers uh, very small numbers like uh, uh, let me let me tell you let's suppose uh, uh, let's suppose there is a number 0 0.000005 uh, meters okay whatever it is it is measurement of some quantity I have assumed it whatever it will be just to explain it uh, well how to express it in standard form uh, the first thing is that uh, this this a is a, a digit a non-zero number a non-zero number mean this one mean it will be some number other than zero so you are you are this decimal this decimal uh, this decimal I am talking about the decimal now this must come after your first first non-zero I am repeating the word first non-zero first non-zero okay so your decimal must come over here uh, it will be 5 into the power of 10 now how many how many digits I have moved my decimal to the right I have moved 1 2 3 4 5 6 I have moved 6 digits to the right my decimal has moved 1 2 3 4 5 6 digits towards the right it will be minus 6 now, now this is one more new thing as far as concepts are concerned when you, when you okay here I have got my decimal over here over here at the end so I have moved my decimal right after 3 how many digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 look at here 8 I have moved 8 digits power is 8 but I have moved on the left side so when you are moving on the left side power is positive when you are moving on the right side you are moving your decimal towards right after first non-zero number power is negative the negative and positive sign depends on the rightward movement or leftward movement if the movement is leftward sign is positive movement is rightward sign is negative and the power the number of power depends upon number of digits crossed here you have crossed eight digits so power is eight here you have crossed six digits so power is six so this is a standard form this is standard form i have expressed a large number into powers of 10 i have expressed a very small number into powers of 10 and again you can see this is a 5 between 1 and 9 this is the concept of standard form how you express very large numbers in powers of 10 and very small numbers in powers of 10 no okay let's take an example if if two numbers are in standard form how to add them and how to uh, multiply them okay let's suppose i ask you 3 into 10 to the power 4 plus uh, uh, 4 into 10 raised to the power 4 okay now you need to add them you need to add them so you are going to take out the power which is uh, common over here as well as here uh, 10 power 4 is here 10 power 4 is here take out 10 power 4 it is common it is common here and here so here you will be left with 3 here you will be left with 4 this 10 is outside this 10 is outside with power 4 so it is 7 into 10 raised to the power 4 this is your answer numbers that is 3 into 10 raised to the power 6 multiply by 4 into 10 raised to the power 4 well multiplication is quite simple number and number will be multiplied 3 into 4 12 and powers of 10 will be multiplied in and according to the rules of indices the base is 10 base is 10 here you have got base 10 here you have got base 10 
so when bases are same base 10 bases are same and they are being multiplied bases are same they are being multiplied at the powers 6 plus 4 so it is 12 into 10 raised to the power 10 and uh, and in standard form this is not acceptable this number should be between 1 and 9 so the decimal is right over here at the end so move it over here after first number decimal should be after first number so it is 1.2 into 10 raised to the power 11 from 10 it became 11 why i have moved my decimal towards left look over here leftward movement power is positive leftward movement of my decimal power is positive so one is added because i have moved my decimal one digit over left side so one digit on the left side will increase this power by one this is your answer so take out uh, some example from your real life from here so example from your real life is uh, find number of seconds in a day express your answer in standard form okay well this one is to be calculated number of seconds in a day so number of hours in a day are 24 no do you know that uh, 24 hours and you have uh, how many minutes in uh, in an hour you have 60 minutes uh, and no this one is converted into minutes 24 hours uh, when you multiply it with 60 that is converted into minutes uh, no, how to convert minutes into seconds multiply by 60 uh, hours into minutes minutes into seconds the answer will be in seconds no but but need to express it in standard form let's do it 24 into 3600 okay 16 to 60 is 3600 well 24 into 3600 what will be the answer let me walk over here Eight six four zero zero. Well, this is answer. But this is not in standard form. Where is your decimal? My decimal is right over here at the end. I need to move it right after the first digit. After the first digits. So this is eight point six four into ten raised to the power. No, you have moved towards the left side. Your digit has moved towards the left side. How many digits you have crossed? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is your answer. 8.64 into 10 to the power 4. Well, this is the basic concept of standard form that is um, uh, related to your uh, CSS JSA preparation. So keep watching my lecture series. Uh, you can comment for your queries and subscribe the channel if you haven't done it. So thank you so much.